Archaeology. As a mummy, I... No props. He actually grabbed the box properly, so that's always nice. Yo, Toxic. How are you? I decided to still run this for a little bit because I have like a minute in the last level uh, from a death to, uh, to make up, so otherwise I would not be speedrunning this still. Went to sleep at 5 a.m. <laughs> Jesus. One of those days. Yeah, so I've been live, I don't know how long. Half an hour. I haven't got out of the first few levels yet, but that's fine. I guess. There's a lot of jank to combat. That's the worst enemy of this speedrun, is the jank. It's pretty janky. Nice. I'm getting better at the first couple of levels though. <laughs> Even though he didn't find the treasure he was hoping for, he... Um, but we'll see. An extra tad over at the left there for no reason. <laughs> yeah, it's this skip here is really annoying. It can just lose. I got it first try in my PB, so I'm expecting to lose time. Which, again, is fine, but not too much time, you know. Oh, I got it first try. Nice. This is new. That little bit there. And I, I got the death too. Nice. Perfect. This has been pretty nice so far then. Oh, yeah, the jump up into the corner. It's so jank. It's really, really jank. I'm not... There's me, French, and another guy in a in the Discord for this game. It was French that found it, but we all really don't 100% know how it's working to get up there. Like, what causes it. Um, so there's no, like... 100% consistent strat, except for French, who made a video of getting it like, I don't know, 10 times in a row or something. So he seems to have figured it out. But when he explained it to us, we did what we thought was right, and it 
it's still really inconsistent. But it's just one of those tricks where if you get it consistent, it's all about your personal timing and all that kind of stuff. So Francis just got it down, basically. And this is the slowest puzzle in history. Throwing the chicken interrupts the animation, so you can just move away instantly. For some reason, I don't have a split here. I keep forgetting to add one. So I don't split here, even though it looks like I probably should. And that's how Tad discovered how to reach the center of the pe uh, So we'll see how it goes at the end of this, where I'm at. But that went very well. This 2D level, you don't have to be perfect here at all. As long as you make the lift cycle here, you are fine. Now there's a jump coming up onto a spider, which is, um, again, one of those tricks that looks like it's easy to just jump onto it, but it's actually jank as hell. This is it here. That is really annoying to do. Gotta wait for the camera to catch up here. That went pretty well as well. So that's nice. Oh, shit. So you have to wait for these. This also is one of those sections where it looks like you could easily clear these things just wherever, but their hit detection is so bad that uh, it's ridiculous. Like that. I tried to get it. But... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's, I'm going to take this as the only acceptable time loss. If I die again, that's it. So I got that one pretty nice in, the, in its time. Yeah, they're all like, time. their timing for what you want them to be is all off as well. So you have to end up waiting. It's so annoying. <laughs> That is a skip there. We're supposed to now be Tad again for this running section. He only has a single jump. Um, so we jumped over a cutscene trigger. And we're still playing as Sarah. Makes this section a lot easier. And it still lets you finish the level, which is nice. Should have double jumped there, but... The jumps are way jankier than they seem. If you get, like, because all the, um, the ground is, um, uneven. So that was really nice. The ground's all uneven, and if you get even the tiniest bit of it air, then it'll just I'm eat your jump, because you're not on the ground, you know. So you have to make sure your feet are planted before jumping. And there's loads of places where it looks like you're just slowing down for no reason. Um, that was that uh, gold was because of the 3D level before. That went super well. Super well. Here's a nice skip coming up. 
Um, they put a chest on the other side of this wall, which is a completely different area. And it just lets you collect it and you zip through the wall. That has skipped a puzzle, a 2D level, another area. This area that I'm in now is supposed to be full of guards. Um, because we're not meant to be here, they just are not here. So we can just run around and not worry about guards, nothing. It's also meant to be nighttime now. But obviously we've got the um, the lighting from the previous area loaded in still. Yeah, how easy is that skip, Coxic? Ridiculous, right? Mm. I'm supposed to be throwing the chicken before I do these levers to save a little bit of time from being able to move instantly, but uh, I, I find it throws the camera off when it comes back to you, so it ends up being pointless because you have to spend the moment trying to fix the camera. That was weird. So I'm not doing it this time around, just to smoothen things out a bit. We'll do it here, because I can go forward. Oh, and that's why. That's why. That is why. Brilliant. Fucking brilliant. I can just run straight to the last bit, but... I'm still going to carry on. I'm still going to carry on. <laughs> Rocky sat. It lets you gain control of the character during the black screen transition. <laughs> but that's, I mean, that's what I get for doing exactly what I said I wasn't doing as soon as I said it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do this. Actually, I'll do it here. Oh, yeah, that's why not. Just avoid that guard by r running on the roof there. Oof, that was some time loss there. Do you want to climb up? I will take plus 10. I would take plus 10 just based on... You know, that corner jump in the 3D level before that was jank. Like, I would take the time loss from there and be happy with plus 10 right now. So, you know. We're still in okay shape. This is a weird puzzle where you're meant to time these uh, tablet turns with the stamp of that woman up there. You can only start by talking to this guy. If you do it too early or too late, you get detected for some reason. So it's kind of weird. In my first playthrough, I had no idea what was going on. Like I was trying to solve the puzzle and uh, just, it kept killing me. <laughs> it's pretty strange. Here's a nice skip coming up here. There we go. And here's a nice skip for this light. When it's all the way to the right, <coughs> for some reason it's completely blind and you can just walk straight through it. So that's nice. Oh, fucking hell. 
Nice bit of jank there as well. Gonna have some time loss here. What the fuck is going on with the camera? Jesus. Uh, I can see that too. I'm not sure what's happening here. Just jank, apparently. <laughs> Shit game. Uh, okay, camera. This is why it's not a good speedrun. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I don't know how I'm plus two. What the hell was my time loss in my PB there? <laughs> Apparently I have time to save in that level. Because that didn't even go well. Camera's had enough of this, yeah. Well, I'm happy that I have time save there, because that did not go well. Honestly, didn't even know I had time loss there. So this is meant to be a stealth section with these guards, much like all the sections with guards, but you can just run around. It wants you to, like, crouch and sneak. But you can just run away from them. As long as they don't get too close, then you're fine. I will throw the chicken at this guy, though, because he's, he's a pest. He will detect you. This is an intentional death. Brings you down here. Now there's three of these things to get in the maze. Get two, restart. Brings you back to the start of the maze. So that you can go and get the third. Just run around this bat. Restart again. And that is us. Sweet. Fucking killing it. <laughs> this is the worst level in the game. So minimal time loss here and I'll be happy. There are skips going on. But I have to concentrate so I'm not going to explain them much. But there's, I mean, it's nothing amazing. It's just, you skip a stealthy bit with a restart checkpoint. That's about it. Otherwise, it's literally the casual way of playing it. Avoid this. Run. Oh. Okay, we're fine. So, we trigger the alarm. We get told that we're now in a stealth section. Um... I can probably restart checkpoint sooner, but if I restart checkpoint now, it just avoids the entire moment of being stealthy and we just go straight to the elevator, uh, which is nice. Uh -huh. We just avoided doing any kind of sneaking. Apart from this little bit here in this room, which is fine. We have to get this coin and not be running or anything. Oh, shit, get, let go. 
I will lose time here in this level, I think, because it went quite well in my PB, all things considered. So all these little um, pauses, grabbing the box and stuff, are pretty much working against me for keeping up with PB. I'm just glad to get a run going, honestly. Right, now we're gonna run to the end. I should have rolled under that instead of jumping over it, but it is what it is. <laughs> Just so slow. Uh, okay, it's meant to auto aim up to that chain. Jesus Christ, game. Fucking ridiculous. See, that's like a few that's seconds like of time loss for again. no fucking reason. <laughs> again, we're back to basically my, uh, plus 10, which I would take at this point. Look, there's an extra me for some reason over there. This game makes no sense. Right, here's another section where I could lose time because I'm a going to be trying a skip that I got first try in my PB. So it's another section where I can lose time and expect it. It's I'll I'll point it out when I'm coming to it. <clears throat> it's in the next area. Pretty sure I fell here in PB as well. So just doing this has saved a bit of time, I think. Oh god. Well, that was that wasn't the smoothest. Rolling off a ledge uh avoids a little um time loss when you land. You kind of stop when you land if you just run off the ledge. So the uh, skip is coming up in this next room here. I'm going to be doing a little kind of glitchy thing to um, try and get up a uh, thing that you're not supposed to get up to reach the upper level. It's coming up right now. So I got it instantly in PB. Oh yes, that was pretty much on par with PB. <laughs> I sounded like a child there, like yes. <laughs> it's very satisfying. That uh, is annoying. You can just slide down most of the time. I have to wait here, unfortunately, because I've made like a weird cycle because I got that so fast. But that's fine. That was good. That was very nice. I needed that for sure. That is an intentional death.
Yeah, death, death, uh, teleporting is always nice. It's like such a free time save. Now comes the worst level in the entire game. When he found Dr. This is a uh, chase in the River Seine, I guess, in Paris. And... They've made it so unforgiving that it's brutal. Like, you have to get these ramps, they give you a little speed boost. And if you scuff walls, like, if you bump into, like, that- If I was to bump into that pier there, that would be enough for me to get caught. Like, if you make the smallest little mistake, then you get caught. Or you're, like, basically just about to, and can't do anything. But, oh, like, that, that could be enough for me to get caught, that little bonk. But, thank god. Hey, Creek. Thanks, man. Um, but luckily I'm okay, it seems, so far. Uh, and the checkpoint for when you die, if you get caught, is so far back. It's like half of the progress bar at the top there. And this entire thing is like four minutes of this. Literally, four minutes. Four plus minutes. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, Jet is on the side there somewhere. Playing chess, I'd imagine. Yeah, it would be nice to skip this level somehow, but... With the way the levels progress, it doesn't, at this point, seem possible. And, um... It doesn't seem possible to find any skips within this, either. Because they've just slapped up massive invisible walls at the edge of the river. So there's not really too much opportunity to do much. I would say that normally this is like one of those levels that is, you know, around halfway through the run. It should be like a nice easy break in the speed run where you can just turn off and just go through it. But actually it's not a break at all because of how ridiculous and unforgiving it is. You have to kind of stress about not messing up at all. Very annoying. Uh, and the last level that I have the minute time loss in from a death, by the way, is not... It's not like it's an easy death for, for me to um, just clean up. It's, uh, it's a pretty shitty last level too. <laughs> so, basically, I don't know why I'm bothering. It's it's just like not a fun speed run. I nearly got whacked by that boat there. This is the end. Somehow I lost two seconds. <laughs> Don't know. I probably just didn't hit enough ramps. Mm, nah, there's not really creek. Um, there's a, a slightly quicker skip in the first 3D area after that uh, corner skip. I don't know if you remember. Corner jump thing. 
there's just like a slightly quicker route to get to the lever in there, which I did gold just in this run, which is nice, but nothing major. It's all the same, all the same big skips. Uh, my time saves are just really the last level. I have about a minute. Just from not dying. Which is a, is a big ask. Is a big ask. I fully expect to lose time in this level as well. Yeah, a minute. It's about a minute. Maybe a bit under. Maybe a bit over. I'm not really sure. It's around there. But uh, a lot has to go right in that last level. <laughs> Because it's got some of like the jankiest skips. Also, I have a load of washing on, so if you can hear like the rumblings of a washing machine in the background, that's my apologize. I don't think it's too bad though. So this is a skip here. We're activating a switch through the wall. That just skipped uh, an entire 2D level. Okay, if you hear nothing, that's good. Wow. And this glide that I'm doing with this character is so jank. Like, watching it doesn't do it justice with how jank it is. When you have a try controlling it, that's when you realize it's absolutely ridiculous. She, like, magnetizes to stuff. It's really weird. Oh, the camera's doing that thing again. Oh, brilliant. And this is not a good level for this to be happening. I've got to do so much shit. Oh, no. You have to kill these scorpions. To open this door. So far, we haven't found a way to skip doing that, so... Here's a nice skip. An air roll. Ooh, I ended up losing height at the end of that, which wasn't fun, but we made it over, so that's good. This is all skipping stuff, obviously. Okay, good. Good so far. There's invisible walls all over this place too, and like where I just skipped through, French found that. It's like the only place in the entire level where there's a gap in the invisible wall to get through. Yeah, it's horrible. It really is horrible. And I have to do, like, some pretty specific landings here now with this awful camera um, glitchiness that's going on right now. And I am pretty horrified by it. This landing on here. Ooh, and not falling. Okay, thank God. Uh, so this part here as well, I have to remember to pick up this green gem here. Because I have 
activated this before and just run out the room and just... You have to pick up this. Otherwise, the, you know, the cutscene doesn't trigger for the end. And I've definitely ran away before without collecting it, so... Um, this went way better than I could have hoped, considering the camera. <laughs> like, this camera sweep that's happening here right now isn't normally supposed to- this doesn't normally happen. It's normally focused on me in the middle. So, yeah, this, for whatever reason, completely messed up. This is caused by just, like, things like mashing through text too fast. Like, it happens in the transitions of things. It's pretty bad. Look at that shit. Hell yeah. Uh, so I take a time loss here, killing this spider. You can roll under it, but it's so easy to just land in the, um, the waste on the other side of it. So I just take an intentional time loss and kill it, basically. This level is jank as fuck. It looks like I'm just doing casual playthroughs when you run it. There's literally not much else to do. Basically, if I avoid dying here, then I'm happy enough. I think I died to this spider coming up next in PB. I could be wrong about that. This one here. I'm pretty sure I died to it. Well, I'm not supposed to be down here. Uh, I had to take that death. This is a bit of a time loss now. Eesh. I forgot what I was supposed to jump to there, for some reason. It's fine. It's not too bad. It's not too bad, Creek. I'll take that. It's not terrible. It's not ideal, but... Oh! Well, that was the glide. That was not me. She just zipped all the way fucking over into the waste on her own. Well, this has gone horrifically now. It's just so jank. By the way, it's the glide that lost me the minute in the last level, too. I split a bit late there, so we're about plus 20. Uh, world record is 48.10, I think. Something like that. I don't think I'm on pace to beat that. I don't think. Anyway, this is all difficult here, so forgive me if I'm just totally quiet. Yep, I died. Great. Perfect. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Second try. We'll take that. I didn't restart checkpoint either, so that uh, saved me some time. It's fine. I can still PB here with this situation.
Ugh, not when the camera does shit like that, though. It's fucking brutal. <laughs> so I've uh, skipped a trigger there to make this dragon just freeze. These spikes are still totally deadly, though. So I'm actually going to wait another cycle here because the camera just decided to spin around for no fucking reason. We're still on track. I have to wait another cycle because I was frozen there. And uh, it doesn't give you enough time to make it. I can barely remember this. Uh, I don't think that's right. I, know I missed a split. Anyway, this is all boss fight stuff now, plus some platforming thrown in. This is all on a, on a cycle. It starts off with raining down stones on you, and you can just die very easily. Like, they can come out of nowhere. And you're just waiting for the dragon to land on whatever platform, and then you get your hit in. Um, you can die now here because it's like vines grow out of the ground in that stage, uh, that phase. And it's very easy to die. Um, it, the, the cycle of everything still continues during the death transition and everything. So you don't really lose too much time when you die here in this part. If anything. Like everything just keeps on going. As long as you get these hits in when the dragon lands on the pillar and you're not, you know, in the middle of dying at that point <clears throat> then you should be fine. It's just really random how it decides to drop the boulders. Alright, we're gonna meet this one here. Good. Right, now, here comes the section where I lost a minute. It's this platforming section with the glide. So I'm gonna shut up here now. And hopefully not die. Take it nice and steady. Uh, it's supposed to let me do this. Okay, that was game jank there, just not letting me do it. But I will take like a five second time loss, that's fine. Jesus. Floaty much? This is where I fell and died. Right there. We're gonna wait for these spikes. We're gonna wait till I land here. So that's where I was saying where you get a little bit of air and it just eats your jump because it thinks you're just not. <laughs> Minus 2.5, that's it? <laughs> what? <laughs> How's that happened? <laughs> it should be... <laughs> I thought it would be like minus 30 or something. How is that? What the hell happened? Was that all from the death on that bridge?
How's that? I don't understand at all. Anyway, this is another boss fight that's silly. It goes on for far too long. You can just duck under her attacks. And it does it in three fucking stages. So you've got to do this three times. Uh, I can't believe I'm only minus 2.5, by the way. Like, I'm shook. I'm actually shook. And how am I not even that now? Like, what the fuck happened there? Like, <laughs> it's fucking auto-scroller. Well, this makes no fucking sense. Anyway, they add a little new attack here with the vines coming out the ground. So as long as you keep walking, you won't get hit. I'm pretty disappointed with this time. I don't quite understand. I don't understand how it's accurate. So weird. I guess the um, death on the bridge there cost me more time than I expected. I don't know. It's very weird. Um, but honestly, if if this whether this PBs or not. I might actually just think, you know what, I don't want to PB. I can't be arsed. Because <laughs> that was me thinking I'd made up loads of time in the last level there. Not even gonna PB, I don't think. Mm -hmm. This is the last phase. Genuinely don't understand. Really don't understand where I lost all that time. Last hit. Oh my god, hurry up. So I guess you have to stand up on that. Victoria Moon was anyway, it's a PB, but fuck it. I can't be arsed playing this anymore. I think that's gonna be it. Which closed behind her Thanks for the GG's. It PB'd, so whatever. The tablet dis um, yeah, I don't think I can be arsed lowering that. I think that might be it. In fact, it should be, because fucking hell, it's a shit game. It's not fun to speedrun, so it doesn't even have that going for it. It's too long for me.
Yo, night time, thanks. It's too long, like, close to an hour. So I don't really like that either. Uh, yeah, so I think that's going to be it. I'll just leave my PB there. At 49.15. Can't be arsed with it. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to go because I think my washing's done and I'm going to have some breakfast. I might stream later today. See how I feel, but I've got to do some some bloody housework. Shite. Also, my uh, phone. Has anyone ever had this? I don't know what kind of phone you have, but I have an iPhone and it doesn't charge because I think there's fluff in the um, little bit where you put in the charger on the phone. So it's not like connecting. And I can't get the fluff out. <laughs> First world problems.